Walter. Is the family coming for Christmas? Every single one of them. Who is this white man? How are you guys doing? We're doing, we're doing wonderful. You we're guys, talking. You guys got me in the mood for Christmas. I am ready. Yes. Like, yeah. I am ready. Like, Halloween's gone. Christmas is straight ahead. Yeah. Now, do you guys have any, like, family traditions that you have been doing for years, or do you start new ones? Well, you know, we started a new one, and we said that every day would be the holiday. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't wait for December 25th. We wouldn't wait for November 24th. We would celebrate every single day, because there's no guarantee we're gonna get to those days. So that's the new tradition in the Hicks household. That is a good tradition. Hey, I'm taking up that one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to her house. <laughs> I, I mean, really, really, I'm, I'm serious, you know, on the one hand. Because when you think about it, the people in your life, the joy in your life, and finding joy amidst everything in your life, every day has to be yes. one of those special holidays. And to celebrate just breathing and, 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 and caring, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's interesting. You do a movie... And there's a lot that disturbs me when I get up in the morning, a lot of things that, that I care about and I don't feel good about and I'm questioning everything else. But I tell you what, when you get up in the morning and you're around family and people that you love, it all dissipates. Yes. It, yes. I mean, seriously, yeah. it all dissipates. And you have memories of that. And I, I have great memories of, of my, I, you know, I call my brothers, whatever they are, I have two brothers left, and, and I just call them. And I just, when I call them, I'm just thankful that I have them mm -hmm. and they're thankful that we love each other, you know, and all we went through, that we love each other and we come out of the sense of that. This is my potato salad from Poland. Pickled fish, duck sausage with mayonnaise, and to wash it all down, some milk tea with boiled tapioca balls. Little Richard gave me that one. Yes. Yeah. Uh who wants pizza? Yes. Uh, uh, sausage. Like wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Your Aunt May went through a lot of trouble preparing all this. Yes, I did. The least we could do is to eat her, uh, uh what? What, what's this? What's this? Thank you, Walter, because this right here, baby, this is my spice mung bean winter casserole with a hint of spam. Lindbergh cheese. Baby lotion? Y'all remind my ass when to laugh, okay? Now I'm in there slaving my ass off trying to make it right. Aunt May. Aunt May. It's, it's not that we wouldn't like it, we just don't recognize it. Kiss my ass. Put it on a the plate then. And I guarantee it's better than this food on this table. And I don't know where your ass been at. Well, that's very beautiful. Mm. But <laughs> you guys are very big celebrities. Do you have family members that are like, all right, Christmas is coming. Like, I, I got to really get some really good. Gifts. I give toilet paper. Oh, you do? I give toothpaste. <laughs> I give things that you need. I give soap powder. So they don't look forward that. to my like, gifts. Oh. Because those are real gifts. I'm yeah, not going to give you a pocketbook. You have no money to put in it. But what I will give you is some wipes. You yeah. always need toilets. Of course. Don't you always need so that? Those are some yeah. of the best gifts. Altoids. Those are great gifts, baby. You, you, never, never, you yeah. never not need them. I love that. I love the toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can never have enough toilet paper. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, we've had seven wonderful Christmases with Obama. This is our, gonna be our last Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you guys feel like, from the first Christmas we had, from now, how do you feel like the world is different without him and with him and that he's changed? I think that, in my humble opinion, the Obamas brought love. They brought love to a place that normally is very cold and very stale. And for me, just looking at those two people, they showed what real love was. So when they walk away, in my humble opinion, the greatest president that's ever set in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue will watch him and the greatest first lady, in my humble opinion, to ever do that job. So we're grateful for all of the Christmases that we were able to have with the Obamas. Mm -hmm. That's so true, the love, that's so true. They're very much in love. I, 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 I want to look at the world and the world that he inherited mm. and, and the issues that we inherit around the world. I know that in North Dakota now, there are Lakota Indians who are trying to preserve their country, First Nation people, the real 
the real stewards of the planet, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and what is happening to them. I know that we have some very important issues around, around, uh, around climate change. I know that we have pr important issues around mass incarceration. We have important issues around what's happening to young people and black, pe black young men and mm -hmm. black young women in the streets. And I want to say, on the one hand, that, that having, uh, and I want to say this, this, that having a black president, an African-American president, a president of African descent was important in that sense. But we, as citizens of this country and as citizens of the world, we have to move beyond something to do the yes. things that are necessary to preserve humanity. So mm -hmm. that's, that was my, if that was my Christmas wish, mm -hmm. that whatever we do, and it doesn't happen in the White House, it happens with us as individuals in our community. It happens with us in how we open our hearts in our community. You know, when we open our hearts, we open our minds. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the things that I mentioned. I hope that that's what he leaves, no matter what I've been. I was the first, but no matter what I was in terms of the first, I hope that my work may have led or may have laid the groundwork for something else very special yes, that yes. I think that we as human beings have to do. We, the people, yes. is whatever thing. It's still we, the people. Mm -hmm. No matter who is in that White House, it's still we, the people. Yes. yes. Yes, they go. That's next why season. he was the patriarch of the film. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hear it? Okay. I'm like, do you see how he bottled in. that right up? That's why he yes. was Walter Myers, baby. You better talk about it. Thank yes. you so much, you yes. guys. Thank you, the my love. Amazing. Thank yeah. you, sis.